This week on Marketplace. They are harassing us. This is Sam from Duck Cleaning Service. Telemarketers from hell. Sexually harassing people over the phone? That's disgusting. We're out to catch them breaking the rules. I'm on the do not call list. And boldly go where we've never gone before. Taking you undercover, half a world away. Inside a call center that might have called you. I'm calling you from Air Duct Cleaning Services. And we take your complaints to Canada's watchdog. We've talked to Canadians on the do not call list. Mm -hmm. They're frustrated and exasperated and angry. In this tiny room at the CBC, we're about to embark on our biggest undercover mission yet. Center it up a little bit more, a little bit back to the your left. Okay, right there. That's Suhail, and he's in Pakistan. Perfect. I'm ready. That's where our secret assignment is taking place. We need to get you a job in a call center as a telemarketer, and you have to bring hidden cameras. Is that okay with you? Yes, absolutely. I'm ready for it. Okay, you're a brave man. Suhail's a freelance journalist, and now we've got a job for him. We found a call center in Karachi that's hiring. Here's your mission. You're gonna apply for a job selling air duct cleaning services to Canadians. Air duct cleaning services? Yes, air ducts. Okay, okay, air duct cleaning services to the Canadians. You know, air ducts. Those things that carry hot and cold air from your furnace through your house. Sometimes they need cleaning. You have your mission. Are you ready to accept it? Oh yes, that's, that's the mission. I'll take it like a mission. Okay, so hail goodbye and good luck. Take care. Thank you, Tom. Goodbye. Why do we want Sue Hale to get a job selling air duct cleaning? Because the telemarketers who sell these services have a lot of you venting to us. I cannot make the call stop. This is Sam from Duck Cleaning Service. So, would you like to know the price? They are harassing us. $99 for the whole house duck cleaning. Do not call here again. Do you need air duct cleaning? Air duct cleaning. Please, I am begging you, stop calling me. I've had enough. Stop calling here. I'm calling you, I'm calling you, I'm calling you. Heather, David, and Andrew have been telling these telemarketers to stop calling for more than two years. You f bastards, you are driving me crazy. Will you please get off the goddamn phone? I have to go to work. Why are you wasting my time? I have told you countless times. Stop calling me. Stop bothering me. You, I'm going to nail you bastards to the wall. What makes it even worse? We are on do the do not call on list. The do not call list. You're not supposed to be calling me. It is illegal for you to be calling me. I'm calling you. Ottawa I'm created the do not call I'm list to stop you. companies from calling us at home. But it's not stopping these duck cleaning you. telemarketers. They're relentless, even obscene, as Andrew's wife found out when she asked for a manager. Telemarketer who, who she was speaking to said that she, she would be able to speak to this person's manager if she sucked his Sexually harassing people over the phone? That's disgusting. We did call the police. The police uh, put it into a report. We've never heard back from them. He's also complained to the people who police the do not call list, the CRTC. Hello? But so far, nada. Same story for David and Heather. The fact that the CRTC has done nothing about this is raging. In the meantime, I'm on the do not call list. You're not supposed to be calling me. The calls don't stop. I'll try anything just to get them to stop. Once I even picked up my whistle. I feel as though I'm losing grip on, on reality. You say no, 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 no thanks. And then eventually you say F you. And it still doesn't work. If they're in front of me, perhaps I would put my hands closer to their neck. <laughs> Can I say that on the camera? I'm a pacifist, I'm not a violent man. I just want them to stop. Please, somebody out there, please start taking this seriously. Seriously? David's about to lose it. I'm so angry, I could spit. 
They call it sometimes as frequently as two or three times a day. David recorded some recent telemarketing calls so we can listen as they break the rules. Hi sir, this is Kevin and I am calling you from Air Duct Cleaning Services. How are you? No, we are on the do not call list. So why are you calling oh here? Oh my god. I'm so sorry sir, it's a mistake. I will remove your number and we will never call you again. How will I know that you that you will never call again? Just believe me, I can say believe me. Yes, I must I must believe him. David's believed them before. But it never fails. I have been told so many times by your stupid company that you will not phone here anymore and you are still phoning. Get us the hell off your list. <sighs> Just when he thinks the tough talk scares him off. The CRTC, would you please figure out a way to track down and put these telemarketing companies out of business? Time to find out what the Do Not Call List police are doing about these calls. We go to Ottawa to talk to the CRTC. We meet Andrea Rosen. Tom Harrington from Marketplace. The CRTC's Chief of Compliance and Enforcement. We've talked to Canadians on the do not call list, mm -hmm. and these people, I pity them, are getting called all the time. They're frustrated and exasperated and angry, and they've even complained to the CRTC. What are you doing about that? What we're seeing now is an influx of uh, telemarketing calls from offshore. They're spoofing the numbers that they're using. And spoofing is when you don't have the number displayed on the dial that is real. And the problem with that for law enforcement is that it's very difficult to detect who those people are and find out where they're calling from. If we can't find them, we can't act. But we found them in Karachi, Pakistan. That's how far we go to catch a telemarketer. This is where those duck cleaning telemarketers have set up shop. In one of the most dangerous cities in the world. As the workday ends and night falls, the telemarketers are just getting started. And in this rough neighborhood, Suhail's undercover mission begins. We've tracked down a call center. Maybe it's the one bugging David. It's located on the third floor of a shopping center. We send our man in, armed with his resume and our hidden cameras. He's hired on the spot. Part one of his mission's accomplished. When we come back... I'm calling from Air Duck Cleaning Services. Undercover in the call center. Uh, can I speak the owner of the house? With frazzled Canadians on the other end of the line. We're on the trail of telemarketers. Calling you from the Air Duck Cleaning Services. Calling Canadians on the do not call list. I cannot make the call stop. Our pursuit has taken us to Karachi, the biggest city in Pakistan. We've been able to get hired inside this call center. Call center, center call call you call. Uh, yeah, can I speak your order of the house? Dozens are on the phone here. At the other end of the line, frazzled Canadians hearing their pitch for air duct cleaning. Our man on the inside, Suhail, hits the phones. Hello. With his script in hand, he gets to work. Uh, miss, uh, can I speak owner of the house? Uh, yes, this is Michael here. And Michael is Suhail's alias. The telemarketers don't use their real names. I'm calling from Air Duct Cleaning Services. How are you doing today? That's right, Air Duct Cleaning Services, the name of the company David's been hearing back in Toronto. Uh, Ma'am, uh, the reason of the call to inform you that we are running a great promotion in your area. Sounds just like the same pitch David gets again and again. Regarding complete air duct cleaning of your house. Any house in Ontario could be a target of these telemarketers. Complete air duct cleaning of your house. And now, we're starting to get an idea of how they do it. How are you doing today? A computer dials numbers for Suhail and makes hundreds and hundreds of calls an hour. I am uh, talking, speaking from air duct cleaning services. 
but this time he reaches someone on the do not call list. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then another one. Uh, I'm sorry. And another. Okay, I'm sorry. It's clear the trainer at the call center knows there are rules. Canadian government list. The Canadian government maintains a list called the do not call list. And the people who police it, there is a CRTC department. But when Suhail asked the trainer why they're calling people on the do not call list. Do you know who's on the DNC? I don't either. Numbers just get called. The phone number doesn't specify who is on the DNC and who isn't. And if someone complains? You don't have to respond to that, just hang up. And what's really obvious is the trainer is not afraid of getting caught. If they get a call, they can report the company to the government. There is no need to worry. The customer will not be able to report us. They can't trace us. How do they make sure of that? The telemarketers never tell people they're in Pakistan. They're told to lie and say they're somewhere in Ontario. So, uh, that's what Suhail does. Right there in Ontario. And that's why, back in Toronto, David can't track them down. He's tried more than once. Hi, sir. My name is Daniel, and I'm calling from here, the cleaning service. How are you? We listen in to another call he recorded for us. Uh, I'm just wondering, whereabouts is your company located? Oh, sir, our head office is located in downtown Toronto. Well, is there a number where I can be sure that this is a real company? Sure, it's 905. 905. 481. They do give David a number, but he doesn't get air duct cleaning services. We're sorry. The number you have reached is not in service. Why am I not surprised? Back with Suhail in Karachi, we learn why that number doesn't work. We don't give customers our phone number. If we give customers our number, those on the DNC, you know, they will take our business phone number and report us. They've got it all figured out. No one can touch them because of those fake numbers. Remember, the CRTC calls that spoofing. They even use fake names. No wonder the trainer brags how the CRTC rules are toothless here. There's no need to be scared. If someone says, I'll trace your number, I'll do this or I'll do that, they can go and try. I've been here two and a half years and I've never seen someone report us. They don't have a company name, they don't have a contact number, and you haven't met them in person either, so they can't trace you. Oh, really? We've traced you. Time for Air Duct Cleaning Services to get a call from us. The company behind the Karachi call center is called Via Connections. I'm trying to reach Via Connections. Yeah, this is Via Connections. Go ahead. Yes, my name is Tom Harrington. I'm calling from CBC Marketplace in Toronto. And I'm calling on behalf of Canadians who want you to stop calling them about Air Duct Cleaning Services. You're violating the Do Not Call list in Canada. You could be fined thousands of dollars. Listen, listen up. Hold on a second. Stop ramming everything into my uh, mouth and pay attention to what I'm going to ask you. I need your name. My name is Tom Harrington. I'm the host of Marketplace. And what's your name? Listen, email me from CBC that we are violating your do not call uh, rules or whatever. First of all, I don't even know what that is. I want an email. What's your name? Listen, email me from CBC's domain. First of all, we don't have anything to do with whatever you are bullshitting about. Why are you using fake phone numbers with your company? Why are you using fake names? Buddy, listen, you're representing CBC, I'm going to f*** you up. Why don't you just admit that's what you're doing, calling Canadians and hassling them. People who are on the do not call list want you to stop. They've had it. Listen, we represent CBC. I want you to email me from CBC's email address, and then I'll speak about it, okay? But he refuses to give us the company email address. Won't even tell us his name. And he's gone. Well. Turns out, this call center isn't the only one in town. You won't believe this, but Karachi is probably the duct-cleaning telemarketer capital of the world. We find out there may be 20 call centers here, all selling one thing. Duct-cleaning. Maybe that's why there are so many repeat calls to Canadians. As for our man in Pakistan, he doesn't make one sale. They let Suhail go. And we still can't be sure if these guys are the ones who keep calling David. 
Back in Toronto, he gets in the last word. Or so he thinks. You're lying, cheating, dirty, filthy company. Now go away. Do not call here again. I'm reporting you to the CCCRCT. Of course, we know he means the CRTC. When we come back. We found air duct cleaning telemarketers in Karachi, Pakistan. If we can do it, why can't the police or the CRTC do it? We've just caught these telemarketers red-handed. I'm calling from air duct cleaning services. How are you doing? Violating the do not call list. You bastards, you are driving me crazy. But the CRTC hasn't been able to catch them. We put that to Andrea Rosen the CRTC's Chief of Compliance and Enforcement. We found air duct cleaning telemarketers in Karachi, Pakistan, and they are calling people on the new call list in Canada, and it's actually been going on for years. Why has nothing been happening? Well, if we found them, we would have taken action. If we can do it, why can't the police or the CRTC do it? We can only action what we receive as information. We pass on our information. We also pass along the complaints of Canadians who want these calls to stop. People are frustrated and they have a message that they wanted me to deliver, I guess, to the CRTC about their frustration. I'd like you to listen to them because I think it's important that you hear it. In my opinion, the do not call list is not working at all. Use it or lose it. If you're the CRTC, how can you let this keep going on? You have so much power to prevent this kind of activity and yet you're doing nothing i just can't understand how the crtc can't close in on a company like this i expected the do not call list would have solved this problem and it hasn't i feel for these people uh, i definitely agree that it is a terrible thing to be uh, have this sort of invasion of your privacy at home but we are working here on, on behalf of Canadians. So we are very pleased with the program and the progress we have made. These people are not. It's well, not working for them. That so may be, what can you tell them? For a few people, that may be the case. It's more but than a our, few. It's more than a few. I'm, I'm sure that there are a number that are dealing with the kinds of calls that I'm talking about today, where we have seen that we cannot reach the identity and location of the caller, in which case it's not a CRTC matter. It's really and truly a police matter. Nobody has a solution right now. That's right. It's called comfort for the people on the other end of the phone. That's why we're trying to find a solution. Heather's hoping that solution comes sooner than later. I would love to see them hauled away in handcuffs and taken away to jail and processed and absolutely forced to pay a, a huge fine. Heather's dreams on hold. And our story's not over yet. This is what your test is on tomorrow. Another Canadian family is not waiting for someone else to act. <sighs> Again? Really? Really. The same people from before. Duck cleaners. Enough with the calls. Six days. They've called seven times in those six days. She's booked a cleaning just so she can let them have it, face to face. Enough's enough. She waits, and waits, and waits. I'm annoyed right now. But the duck cleaners are a no-show. But I'm wondering even if they're a real business, even if they have a truck. Are they going to be here any minute? We're wondering the same thing. Let's hurry up. No problem. Find out next week on Marketplace. Here we go. Hi there. Watch what happens when the duck cleaners we call show up at our house. Oh my lord. Are they up to the job? So there's a whole dust storm now in the furnace room as they're kind of making a mess. Or up to no good. Oh my gosh. You did a good job. Well, you know what? I don't think you did. 